you know, I got a mystery gift yesterday. A bunch of whiskey arrives. Why is that a mystery? Yeah, I should have known. It's an, a whiskey advent calendar. Let's just see how many of these you can get through before the end of the show. Every time uh, you, know? you say insider, I shall take one yeah. of these. Oh, I got there bad you. news for you. I got five <laughs> bills to talk about today. Previously on Twit. This Week in Google. We've got a special guest, Stephen B. Johnson. You may know him from his PBS television show, his books and podcasts. But he's also the guy who helped Google design a new tool for writers called Notebook LM. The number one skill in eliciting the behavior you want from a language model is, right. you know, a clear command and a persuasive command of the English language. Matt Break Weekly. I've got a wacky theory about the iPad Pro I want to throw out there. What if the M3 iPad Pro with that fancy MacBook-like keyboard ran Mac OS in a virtual machine? Whoa, uh -huh. dude. It's never going to happen. You're nuts. You're <laughs> never going to happen. You're no. crazy. Security Now. Quantum computing research conducted at Harvard made headlines last Thursday with what those in the know are pretty certain represents a significant step forward in the quest for a practical quantum computer. Asymmetric crypto, such as RSA and elliptic curve crypto, are both on the chopping block. So it was prescient that the academic crypto community began worrying about this years ago and has now generated a series of quantum safe replacement algorithms that are rapidly being moved toward adoption. Twit. Thousands of hours of high quality dribble. Using three dimensional, that's mm. eight by three by two code blocks, oh. we realize computationally complex sampling circuits with up to 48 logical qubits 48. entangled with hypercube connectivity yeah. with 228 logical two qubit gates yeah. and 48 logical CZZ gates. Oh. These results herald the advent of early error-corrected quantum computation <laughs> and chart a path toward large-scale logical processors. Well, of course! <laughs>